Have you ever wondered why waiting periods are such a significant part of our lives? Waiting. It's something we all experience. It's universal and inescapable. It can be as mundane as waiting for a bus or as profound as waiting for a life-changing event. But have you ever stopped to consider the power that lies within these periods of waiting? Life is a journey interspersed with times of action and times of waiting. These intervals of waiting are not just empty gaps to be endured, but are rather rich opportunities for growth and transformation. Now let's delve into a profound scripture that beautifully encapsulates the essence of waiting. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 31, it is written, But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary, they shall walk and not faint. This scripture was a message of comfort and hope to the Israelites in a time of despair. They were in the midst of a waiting period, a time of exile, longing for liberation. This scripture was a promise to them that their waiting was not in vain. Just as the eagle soars above the challenges of life, those who wait on the Lord, those who trust in his timing, are promised a similar transcendence. They will experience a renewal of strength, a divine energy that enables them to run the race of life without growing weary, to walk through the trials of life without losing heart. This scripture reminds us that in our waiting, we are not rendered powerless. Quite the contrary, it is in these very moments of waiting that we discover an inner strength we never knew we had. It is in these moments that we are shaped, refined and prepared for the journey ahead. So the next time you find yourself in a period of waiting, remember this. It is not a pause in your progress, but a crucial part of your journey. In waiting, we find strength. Strength to rise, to run, to walk, and not grow weary or faint. How can we embrace these waiting periods rather than dread them? A question that demands our attention, doesn't it? You see, the key lies in perspective. Much like viewing a painting from different angles, the right perspective can transform our experience of waiting periods. Let's delve into scripture for a moment, shall we? Psalm 27, 14 says, Wait for the Lord, be strong, and take heart, and wait for the Lord. This timeless verse was penned by King David, a man who knew a thing or two about waiting. He spent years in the wilderness, fleeing from his enemies, waiting for the promise of God to be fulfilled in his life. In the midst of such turmoil, he chose to wait on the Lord. What does it mean to wait on the Lord? It's not just about time passing by. No, it's about trusting in God's timing, believing that he is at work, even when we can't see it. It's about surrendering to God's will, even when our circumstances are challenging, even when our hearts are heavy. It's about finding strength in his promises, taking heart in his love, and waiting with hope. King David's words remind us that waiting is not a passive act. It's a courageous choice to believe that God is good, that he is for us, and that his plans are worth waiting for. It's an active decision to tune our hearts to his rhythm, to align our lives with his purposes. But here's the beautiful part. While we wait, we're not just idle. We're being prepared. Like a potter with clay, God is molding us, shaping us, refining us. He's equipping us for what's to come, using our waiting periods to draw us closer to him, to deepen our faith, to grow our character. So, my friends, let's change our perspective on waiting. Let's see it not as a burden, but as a blessing. Let's embrace the waiting periods, for they are times of preparation, times of growth, times of deepening faith. Waiting is not just about the delay, but also about the preparation. Be strong, take heart, and wait. Why is worship and praise so critical in our waiting periods? In every season of our lives, the power of worship and praise is undeniable, but it shines brightest during our waiting periods. You see, worship and praise aren't just acts of reverence. They are potent tools in our spiritual toolbox, aiding us through our times of waiting. They serve as reminders, keeping our spirits high and our eyes focused on the divine, even when the situation seems dire. Let us travel back to the book of Acts, chapter 16, verse 25. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. Here we find Paul and Silas, their bodies bruised and battered, locked deep within a prison. Yet instead of despairing, they chose to worship and praise. Imagine the scene. 
the cold, damp cell echoing with their voices, the other prisoners listening, perhaps even joining in. In the grip of uncertainty, they chose faith over fear, worship over worry. Now, this wasn't a random act of defiance, nor was it a futile attempt to boost their spirits. This was a conscious act of faith, a bold declaration of their trust in the divine plan. It was an affirmation that even in their darkest hour, they chose to remain faithful, to keep their spirits high, and to keep their eyes on the divine. Their worship and praise were their spiritual lifelines, their connection to the divine, and it was this connection that led to a miraculous release. The prison doors swung open and their chains fell off, not because of their strength or cunning, but because of their unwavering faith, expressed through their worship and praise. So just as Paul and Silas used worship and praise as their spiritual lifelines, so too can we. In the midst of our waiting periods, when we feel locked in our own prisons, may we find solace in our worship and praise. For it is through these acts of faith that we can bring about divine intervention. In the midst of waiting, worship and praise can bring about divine intervention. How can we keep hope alive during our waiting periods? Life is a beautiful tapestry of seasons. Some are seasons of joy and plenty, while others are seasons of waiting and hardship. Yet it's during these waiting periods that we often find ourselves questioning, wrestling and praying for the strength to endure. However, the key to navigating these periods lies in understanding their temporality. Waiting periods are merely temporary pauses in the grand scheme of our existence. They are fleeting, ephemeral, and they do pass. This concept is beautifully encapsulated in a scripture from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. In chapter 4, verse 17, Paul writes, For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. What an assuring and comforting thought. Our challenges, no matter how insurmountable they may seem, are light and momentary in comparison to the eternal glory that awaits us. But let's delve deeper into the context of this scripture. Paul wrote these words to the Corinthians during a time of great hardship. They were facing trials and tribulations that seemed endless and impossible to overcome. Yet Paul reminded them, and us, that these problems are small compared to the eternal glory that awaits us. He was encouraging them to look beyond their current circumstances, to shift their focus from the temporal to the eternal. He was urging them to understand that their waiting period was not a punishment, but a preparation. A preparation for a glory so great that it far outweighs any earthly trouble. So when we find ourselves in the midst of a waiting period, let's remember Paul's words. Let's remember that our current troubles are light and momentary, and they are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. In the grand scheme of things, waiting periods are but a blink of an eye. They are challenging indeed, but they are not the end. They are merely a part of our journey, a stepping stone to our eternal glory. Our waiting periods, no matter how long or difficult, are but light and momentary. They are preparing us for an eternal glory that outweighs them all. So what does all this mean for us in our waiting periods? As we've journeyed through this discussion, a few key points have emerged that can guide us through those times of waiting. Firstly, we've learned about the power of waiting. We've seen that waiting is more than a passive pause. It's an active, transformative process that shapes us and refines us into better versions of ourselves. Like gold refined by fire, we too emerge from our waiting periods more precious, more valuable and more ready to fulfill our purpose. Next, we've explored the idea of embracing the waiting period. Instead of resisting it, we've seen the value in leaning into the uncertainty and discomfort, recognizing it as a fertile ground for growth. It's in these moments that we are truly able to grow in faith, in character and in understanding. We've also delved into the power of worship and praise. We've discovered that even in the midst of our waiting periods, we can still lift our voices in adoration and gratitude. This act of worship is not just a form of spiritual expression, but also a powerful tool that can shift our perspective, lift our spirits and renew our strength. Finally, we've been reminded of this comforting truth. This too shall pass. These waiting periods, no matter how long and difficult they may seem, are only temporary. 
They are but a brief moment in the grand tapestry of our lives, and they will pass. As we tie these threads together, we can see how they weave a powerful narrative of hope, resilience, and spiritual growth. Embracing our waiting periods with worship and praise not only helps us navigate through them, but it also prepares us for the blessings and breakthroughs that lie ahead. Remember, in every waiting period, you're being prepared for something greater. Embrace it with worship and praise, for this too shall pass. Shall Before we wrap up, we have a small request. If you found this video helpful, if it resonated with you or sparked a moment of realization, we encourage you to give it a thumbs up. This simple action helps us reach more people who might need this message in their lives. Furthermore, consider sharing this video with your friends, your family, or anyone who might be going through a waiting period. Let's spread the message of hope, resilience, and spiritual growth. And finally, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you're not just supporting us, but you're also ensuring that you won't miss out on any of our future videos. We regularly share content that aims to inspire, uplift, and empower you. Thank you for your support. Remember, no matter what you're going through, this too shall pass.